After I got divorced, I didn't have anything to lose. I just packed my car and drove to Santa Fe. I'd never even been here. But I knew that it was an art center. I know there was a lot of Indians, and I thought, I'll probably fit in. I want these, my paintings to, and I, I, sometimes I do it constantly, sometimes I don't, but I want them to read as being Indian. I mean, some of my paintings, they, they read like an Indian influence, and then I could ask you, well, tell me what, tell me what about it uh, makes you think that. And it's, you can't define it. So if I can get to that point, then I think I, uh, the painting's successful. I used to do some really tight, traditional Indian pieces. And as time went on, I started to get bored with it. And I just started dropping out imagery. And I started to notice that it wasn't the imagery that people were attracted to, it was the color. And so I've, I've sort of stayed with that and followed that. Um, it's just staying with color. I'll, I'll just start putting color on the canvas in some sort of, I don't know, shape or form or something. And, and then look at it and and then just start working with it. I don't try to work against the painting anymore. If I see it going in a certain direction, I'll just follow it. There's so many great painters. I mean, like in realism and landscapes and you name it. And uh, to me, it was like you know, no matter how good I get at this, there's always somebody that's probably done it better than than I'm going to do it. Uh, so I made the conscious decision to. Try to invent how I wanted to paint. I don't have to worry about, you know, what well, I wonder if it's already been done or anything like that. I've, I'm just off in my own world now, just doing what I want to do, and and it's much more enjoyable for me to do to do my own my own thing. I don't get bored with it. I'm ready to get back in the in the studio every morning. I'm ready to go. It came to me one day, I was watching everybody text message, and uh, people aren't spelling out the words. And I started thinking, this is interesting because I think a person could do this with an image also. I mean, the, the, the concept being, if you already know what it looks like, I don't have to paint it for you. All you gotta just give you that, just the, just the hints of what it is, and what, what am I seeing here? And uh, I watch people's reaction to it, and the only reason they have a strong reaction is because that's what they're seeing too. They just don't know that's what they're seeing. If I can get them to uh, start to see something in a different way or to realize that that's what they've been doing anyway, uh, it just opens up a new avenue for them, a new vista for them to, to explore.
Perfect art for children is, is, is so important because the creative process is something that not many people ever learn to tap into. That, you can see after layering and sanding and stuff how it's much more interesting than canvas look. But you get over there and you see them all working and you see all these ideas and uh, which I intend to steal and uh, <laughs> it's interesting for me, you know, it gets me sort of fired up. Yeah. There's so much enjoyment and, and satisfaction in, in doing it, you know, just anything creative, whether it be visual arts or sculpture or uh, music or whatever, you know, that creative process is, is so important, I think, in someone's life. I really did get down to my last $50. I was thinking, what the hell am I going to do? Because, you know, I, there wasn't anybody I could call. Uh, I'd always been on my own. So I remember I, I, I thought, I, don't, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I just uh, I quit painting and went downstairs. And I prayed. And I said, if you want me to be a painter, great. I'm all for it. If you don't, then get me out of here. Just show me what to do. You know, I'm not going to stress about it. Uh, if, if this is an ego thing, I'll give it up. And after I got through praying about that, I go back upstairs. I started painting, and I really did feel like a weight had been left off my shoulders. The next morning, somebody knocks on my door. I go through the door, and a guy said, somebody said I need to look at your paintings. And uh, he, he gave me 3000 something for a painting that day. And I'm like, thank you, Jesus. And then the next day, there's a lady. Same thing. She said, I want to look at your paintings. And here again, another $3,000. I never looked back. That was it. It just took off. It's amazing. It really was how that happened, but that's, that's true.